A few weeks ago, I made an amazing discovery and a terrible mistake all at once. I found out that this place sells kids' toys. And he absolutely loves them. But the toys here are incredibly expensive. So it's a come once in a while type of thing, not a come every day sort of thing. So today I brought him here and I'm gonna let him pick up one toy for himself, but he has to choose which one it is. Hold these. Are there any others? Ooh. The parrot, the dog. We have one of those already. You've got a pineapple. Those are good. Those are good. So you can have one squishy toy and then we'll go get something else. Which squishy toy do you want? Which one? Ooh. All right, there's no doubt that he loves uh. squishy toys. But I'm gonna see if he also wants just like another toy, like a play set or an action figure or just anything. All right, big guy, let's pick something up. What do you like? Huh? Trains? Oh, that's pretty cool. You like that one? Yeah? Another dump truck? Okay. Just anything else? Anything else? Benton? <laughs> I knew you would like that. <laughs> If you're gonna pick one, which one would it be? Would you like this or would you like this? You want to get the pineapple. What do you want? What do you want? No, you want that one? The dump truck? Okay, we'll get the dump truck. He's made his selections. I feel like in this case, as long as there's three or fewer toys, it rounds down to one, so perfect. Is that yours? <laughs> I can't touch it? Oh, okay. All right, well, I'd definitely say that was a success. Wouldn't you, big guy? Yeah, I don't know why. I actually thought it would come out to one toy exactly. In fact, for a few seconds there, I thought it was gonna be three, but we pared it down. You know, anything under five toys pretty much these days just runs down to one. <laughs> 